When it comes to approaching your parents about their financial situation after they retire, it's a sensitive subject. Here's how you might go about it. Hash, hash, hash. Start with empathy and respect. Your parents have probably worked their whole lives to get where they are. Recognize that their financial matters can be a touchy subject. Begin the conversation by expressing your genuine concern for their well-being. Mom, Dad, I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but as you're stepping into retirement, I find myself thinking about your long-term comfort and security. I just want to make sure everything is in place to keep you both happy and healthy. Underscore hash hash hash. Choose the right time and setting timing can make a huge difference. Don't bring this up during a family gathering or when emotions might already be running high. Select a quiet, private setting where the conversation can unfold naturally. Hash 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 be specific and gentle. Raise specific points that you're curious about. General inquiries might feel like prying, but focusing on concrete aspects can help. I was wondering if you have had a chance to review your retirement accounts, or if there's anything we should know to help you manage them better. How are you feeling about your pension or social security plans? Underscore, hash 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 offer. Help, don't demand control. You want to emphasize that you're there to offer support, not take over their lives. Make it clear that you're not questioning their abilities, but offering an extra set of hands or eyes. I've been reading up on some financial planning steps and would love to help you go through your options. Or maybe we could even chat with a financial advisor together. Underscore hash hash hash. Listen more than you talk. Sometimes they just need someone willing to listen. Let them share their plans and concerns. The goal is to have an open dialogue, not a one-sided interrogation. Hash hash hash. Reassure and respect their decisions. Ultimately, it's their money and their future. Reassure them that you respect their decisions and just want to make sure they're thoughtful about what they have in place. Whatever you decide, just know I'm here to support you both in any way I can. Your happiness and well-being mean the world to me. Underscore hash hash hash. Suggest regular check-ins. Concluding the conversation with an agreement to revisit the topic periodically can be beneficial. Frame it as a standard part of family communication no different than checking in about health or other personal matters. How about we make it a point to review this once a year, just to ensure everything is on track and you both are feeling good about your plans. Underscore hash hash hash, keep it positive and open-ended. Lastly, keep the conversation positive. You're not just hashing out numbers, you're caring for the people who raised you. Let them know this is just part of growing older together and looking out for each other. I'm really glad we can talk about these things openly. It makes me feel better knowing we're all looking out for each other. Underscore. Being respectful yet proactive in this conversation can help make it a positive experience for everyone involved. Good luck.